God bless you. Welcome to Triumphant Life uh, Network. Today, I really want to talk about. Welcome to Awakening Television. Today, I really want to wake you up to the possibility of the greatness that God has ordained for you. I really believe that when you come to the revelation of God's plan for you, you will be so overwhelmed with his goodness. The Bible says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered the heart of man. Those things that God has prepared for you. He had already anticipated all your challenges and struggle by his own innocent, knowing everything that was going to happen. He has already wired you, create the scenario, the generated opportunities, and put you in the right position to unleash the greatness in you and be the solution to every challenge and struggles of your life. But until you come to the revelation of what he has done for you, you are going to struggle in the midst of that very thing that God has ordained you to be a champion of. I really want you to understand that when we follow the Lord, it's not just what we are going to do in the four walls of the church. It is not the pity expression and, and, and the routine of our church activities and programs, but the ability to fully represent God and step into that dimension of authority, demonstrating the miracles and forcing the kingdom authority in the domain of your life. I call that life the triumphant life. The triumphant life is a lifestyle where you know your identity in God. You come to the awakening of the potential that God has given to you to be a ruler, to reign here on earth. And not only that, to have the authority that is far above principalities and powers because you are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, far above all those demonic spirits. And so you have the authority to evict any demonic power from the domain of your influence no evil should come near your dwelling a thousand should fall on your life ten thousand on your right they shall not come near your dwelling because you have made god your habitation you dwell in god you're a carrier of the presence and we need to come to this revelation otherwise we are just going to engage in religious rituals exercise our our dogmatic expressions in the church and we are not going to see the result that we are looking for so what are we supposed to do to make what i'm talking about an experience not a theological concept not just a philosophy not a cliche but something that you walk in that it becomes so practical to you it becomes a lifestyle that you now begin to enjoy a close intimacy with the Lord God Almighty. You hear him, you sense him, you feel him. You have him with you, the present help in every circumstance of your need. So I want to take you to the Bible to show you what it's going to take to unlock that dimension, to live this lifestyle consistently, not intermittently, but you live it consistently. You are moving into that dimension all the time. So I want to take you to the scripture that has been the basis of what I've been teaching of in this series and the book that I'm writing. Now I want to take you to 1 John chapter 5 verse 4. The Bible says, whatsoever is born of God, whatsoever is born of God, overcome the world. This is the victory that overcome the world, even our faith. So the Bible is making us aware that those who can overcome and overpower and enforce the kingdom heritage in their domain are those who are born of God, not churchgoers, not those who even have received Jesus Christ and Lord as their Lord and personal Savior, because we need to get the difference. And it's not those who just participate in religious activities. I'm not talking about those who even display biblical correctness and, and emulate it in their life and character. I'm talking about those who are born of God and when you are born of God you carry the same faith of God in the life that you received and so you are going to understand that the moment you were born of God you were enlisted into the army of God to fight you are a warrior whether you like it or not and those who are going to manifest the victory are those who know how to fight effectively
You need to understand you were born of God to be a father. The Bible says there is an opposition in the domain of your existence that is opposing, restricting, trying to stop your, your divinity in your humanity, trying to obstruct your calling, to, to sabotage your existence, to limit your resources, to make sure that your life is frustrated and to kill still and destroy. And these are the demons, satanic forces in the domain of this world. And God is saying that the day you were born born of him he gave you the assignment to fully represent him and to establish his purpose in the domain he wants you to squash that rebellion that has been created in that domain and you are the one that god is trusting to be able to fix your domain you are called to be a champion of your domain you are called to rule in your existence you are ordained to manifest the greatness of god in the existence of your vicinity god has called you to do extraordinary things not just to go to church not just to participate in the uh, the praise and worship and prayer and all those things but you are called to rule in your domain and so we have to understand whatsoever is born of god overcomer you become an overcomer the day you got born of god but those who are going to enjoy the victory are those who utilize their faith to fight and if you are not fighting with your faith you are not going to get it said we need to understand this fighting is not emotional it is not the physical exuberance it is not you sweating and quoting scriptures it is the faith fight are you understand what i'm talking about so you have been given a faith of God to fight like God. Those who are possessing the faith of God are also going to possess the weapons of God. And so we come to this revelation that we are going to fight with our theological correctness, the biblical uh, correctness. We are going to use our faith and every other thing that we think that we can confront the devil with. If you are not fighting with faith, you are not going to get the result. And so the Bible says, whatsoever is born of God, overcome it, the world. Are you overcoming your domain? Are you taking mastery of where you live? Do you have the understanding that God is not coming from heaven to fix anything in your habitation? Because he has given you the right to repel the devil, to evict him from your domain, to make sure that he cannot operate in your presence. You are the one that God has championed, anointed for certain time as this, to make sure that you don't give the devil any room for him to operate where you are. He has no right to operate in your family, in your marriage, in your finances, in every area. But if you don't understand that it is your responsibility to engage him and to restrict him and to make sure that you put a sanction on him and he cannot operate, then you are going to allow him to maneuver his diabolical schemes against you without understanding that you have allowed him to operate. And there's a lot of believers who are busy engaging in their spirituality, in their excellence of their piety, in their transcendental wisdom, and things that they do in the church, but they don't know how to execute what it takes to stop the devil and to shut him down and to literally cast him out out of their domain because they don't really know how to fight. So let's look at the text again so that we can understand this. The day you got born of God, you became a fighter for God. Whatsoever is born of God, overcome the world. You are overcoming because you are an overcomer because there is an opposition in the domain where God has placed you in. Where you were born of God, there is an opposition spiritually that is contending against the family of God, you and your Father God Almighty. And so God is saying that I've invested, I've instilled, I've put things in you, in your makeup. When you got born of God to be an overcomer against every power of darkness in the domain of your influence. So God is trusting you to liberate your domain. God is trusting you to enforce the kingdom in your domain. God is trusting you to make sure that you rule in your domain. God is trusting you that you don't allow the enemy to operate anymore. God has entrusted the kingdom mandate into your hands that anything that is happening around you in your domain, you have the control to take mastery, to reign, to rule in that domain. That is how 
powerful that assignment that God has given to you. So whatsoever has born a God overcomer, that this is the victory the overcomer, even our faith. So the moment you are born of God, you are a warrior, you are born to fight, but you fight on the platform of victory. You approach the fight with the victory. You are not combating the devil to now win. You have already won as a triumphant person and that's why you are engaging. You are an overcomer. That is why you are engaging. So you are manif you are stepping into the battery, uh, the, 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 the war to literally enforce the victory. You don't want to engage the devil with a mindset of, listen, let's wrangle together, let's combat, let's struggle to God. No, you are not sweating enough. You are there to just enforce the victory that Jesus Christ established on the cross. So how do you win? You need to know that in this fight, the only way you can fight effectively is to understand the faith you carry. Because if you are thinking your faith is obedience to the scriptures and faith is you having a proof of what you do, biblical correctness of your engagement that you are mistaken, you are going to fail miserably. But those who understand that faith is a person, is the presence. And so before you engage the enemy, you need to be armed with faith. You need to know that your weapons is really in the presence of God, not your methodology, not your strenuous effort, not the exuberance of your flesh, and not your biblical quotations you call, not even the name of Jesus or amen. It is the presence you carry. And so you don't even bother to waste your, to engage the devil until you have authenticated the presence of God on you before you engage the devil. Because if you engage him with that presence, you have already lost. But if you engage him with the presence of faith, you have already won before you start. That's what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 10. It says the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God, the weapons of our warfare. So therefore, the moment you became a believer, you are in a warfare. And in a warfare, you have weapons that you need to engage with. But these weapons, they are mighty. It's incredible. It is beyond your wildest imagination. These weapons are mighty only through God. So therefore, if your weapons are going to function, operate and get you the result you need to have the personal intimate relationship with god you must have his presence so that it will equip and empower your arsenals your weapons to function and to be powerful against the devil if you engage any weapon even if it is biblical even if it's the name of jesus if you don't have the presence of God in your life, then you are going to find out that it is not mighty, it is not powerful, it is ineffective, the devil doesn't respect it, it's not going to produce any havoc against the devil. But when you are a carrier of the presence of God, even a step, anything in your life becomes a weapon. The Bible says your light will shine and the darkness shall not be able to comprehend it. That every step of the way, your, your very presence is casting a demon. It is literally driving away forces of the enemy because you are a carrier of the presence of God. The psalmist says it in another way. He said, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of him, is my refuge, is my fortress, in whom do I trust. So therefore, when you dwell in the presence of God, when you are hiding yourself in the secret place, you have actually activated an impregnable refuge, a fortress that the devil cannot penetrate. So the presence now becomes an unsummatable force that the devil cannot overcome. And so you have to understand, if we are engaging the enemy with scriptures and we quote even biblical scripture, warfare scriptures, it is not going to work if we don't have the presence of God. And we are not engaging him with biblical strategy and methodology and the dominational philosophy and concepts. We approach the devil on the basis of the presence. And so if you don't carry the presence, you've already lost.
you have to understand the only thing that can be able to make your onslaught, your combat, your engagement against the devil is really having the presence of the living God. So the day you got born of God, the faith you have is a faith of a person, is the presence of the Lord. Faith is a presence, and if it's the presence, then it is what you are going to utilize to be able to engage the devil. You have to understand you are born to be a warrior. You are born to be a fighter. The Bible says that therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. And don't entangle yourself with the first of this life, that you may please him who has called you into this fight, into, into what this assignment is all about. You have to be awakened to understand how well you fight will determine how you enjoy and literally experience the promises of God for your life. You cannot just sit down and just wish and hope that things will just happen and that you are just going to compromise your assignment and sit down and wish that the devil is going to leave you alone. Actually, the day you got born of God, you are literally, the enemy now began to put something on you to make sure he literally has sent the modern spirit to stop you and so whether you are fighting or you're not fighting you are already in the midst of the fight there is no demilitarized zone when you are in the kingdom everyone is born to be a warrior so whatsoever is born of god overcome the world this is the victory that overcome the world even our faith so the guarantee of the victory is the very presence of faith that you carry. And when you have this presence of faith, God is saying that you already have the victory. Therefore, we need to learn how to continuously walk in faith. I, I want to stop here, but I want you to understand that right now you have come to the revelation that your domain must be liberated from every satanic, uh, diabolical agenda. Your family, your children, your family, everything in your domain of your existence have been given to you for you to liberate so you can rule. And how you enjoy that domain, how you experience blessings, how you step into the greatness of your existence, how you fulfill your calling, manifesting your mandate in life is how you rule in that domain. And you will need to use faith to rule in that domain. And so stop blaming God and wishing and asking God to come and help you. God has already given you the faith for you to succeed. You need to just use it. The domain of your influence has been given to you for you to rule. To be, and if you are going to rule, you will need to fight. So in the next segment, I'm going to teach you the practicality, the simplicity, and how to be able to now step into that victory. That God, I'm going to show you how to fight effectively and no demonic power, no spirit, no enemy can be able to stand before you because you know how to engage the enemy in the right way. So in the next fight, you warriors are going to learn how to fight and establish your triumphant life. God bless you. Bye-bye.